Yo, what is going on guys? It's Zombie. I'm back with NBA 2K18 and today I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest, fastest, most efficient way to beat these schedule games, guys. I've already completed two of these schedules. I've got a lot more to go, 28 in fact to go, guys. And right now I'm currently working on the Lakers and I'm just going to be showing you guys basically what you should do. So, there's 30 challenges in each of these each of these uh, schedules right now the first few games are either start in the third or fourth quarter I mean there are some that are full games but there's only they're only like two or three minute quarters so if you guys are using cards like Ruby cards or just like cards that cost lots of money for contracts you're doing this wrong just use silvers use like cheesy gold players use all kinds of cheap cards because there's no point in using your really good cards like for these schedule challenges it also starts off in pro difficulty which is super easy by the end of it you're only allowed to use three gold players and the rest are silver or bronze and it's on like superstar difficulty so if you can end up beating that you can definitely beat these first few challenges with crappy players on pro difficulty it just doesn't make sense to use like your really good players because you're gonna be going through contracts like crazy and it's just not worth it because the money you get from these games you'll be spending on contracts but if you use gold and silver players it doesn't cost a lot now you guys are probably wondering well this guy's got diamonds in his lineup well these guys have infinite contracts i don't know i accidentally put a infinite contract on kevin willis that's why i have him in the lineup uh this really stupid uh stupid move by me that i accidentally did that but um through that that's the reason i have these guys is because they have unlimited contracts so i don't have to pay but like for these like gold cards like it does not cost a lot it costs like man for silvers and golds it's like maybe 100 or 200 mt for five contracts for all of them so it's super cheap guys another thing you want to do is maybe not just go through the schedules just from like what you see like actually go through the moment collections and look for what teams have cheesy gold and silver cards that you can use for the schedule games because once you get farther into the challenges it's only going to allow you three gold players which means you have got to get cheesy silver moments players for example i've got i'm on shumpert from the Cavs. i mean we, i've got this cheesy gold jj reddick who has 95 open shot three and you got you like look for teams that have lots of just good silvers in general like the reason i'm doing the lakers right now is because they've got lots of good silver and gold players they've got like this gold lonzo kyle kuzma uh, we've got Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, and if you go into the current, um, currents, like, they have some decent silvers, like, Clarkson is actually a pretty good silver, uh, Dang is okay, like, there's a silver Ingram, you could even use Zubak is pretty good, um, the silver Lonzo, I mean, you could use him, but I, I'm using the gold, there's also Brooke Lopez, um, and then for bronze cards, I mean, there is a bronze Kyle Kuzma card, um, Corey Brewer, and I don't know about these other guys. Tyler Ennis isn't that great, I don't think. But look for teams that have, like, good silver players. Like, I don't really... I have, I'll have to go through, like, a lot of these just to look and see what uh, what I have. But also, do, just don't do the schedule challenges that you have no cards for. Like, if you're just starting to do these and you don't have a lot of cards, like, my collection is... Like, I have pretty much all the Eastern Conference filled in here. Other than, like, the Heat and, like, I Magic. I've almost done Wizards. I'm almost done... I have the Raptors done. I have all these cards done. So just look through these silvers on each team and just see which ones you're good at using or like which ones are, are good. And you can also go into the historic collection too and pick up some golds. Like example, for the Milwaukee Bucks, I was having trouble on the last challenge because you got to play against Pink Diamond. Kareem, like Amethyst Ray Allen, Amethyst Oscar Robertson. It's so hard because you only have three golds and the rest are silvers. So I had to pick up like Luke Ma, Mute, and Alton, Alton Lister because you have to use eight Bucks players. So I'm like, well, man, I just got to use, I got to get um, some gold Bucks players because there are a lot of cheesy silvers that I would want to use, I, I was using for that challenge. Like, uh, man, I'll just go through some, like some of the cheesy silvers, like some of the best silvers you can get for playing these challenges. So TJ Leaf, we're going to start with this card. This card is probably the, one of the best power forwards, silver power forwards. In the game, guys, he's got just unreal stats for a silver card. He's got a actually a great fr uh, three ball. He's got great uh, release. Like his shot form is good. He's it, his defensive rebounding and offensive doesn't look that great, but don't be fooled. He is a good rebounder. 
Um, honestly, just like a solid shooter for a power forward, and you need shooters all around. Like when you're playing these hard teams, man, you need to have like all shooters, and you just you need to hit threes. Now this card, oh my goodness, this card is probably one of the like most beastly silvers. I am, I actually sniped him for 500 MT. Uh, he was the only one up. I'm assuming this card is a bit of a rare silver. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of him, but Terrence Ferguson is a beast, man. He has an 87 shot three, 85 contested shot three, and look at this. He's got a 97 driving dunk, 95 contact dunk. He's got 87 speed. Speed with ball is 70. I would definitely recommend picking up this card. Next, man, for your center, if you gotta have a backup silver center, Thawne Maker is literally the GOAT center. I'm pretty sure you guys already knew this. I, the stats won't show that he's like all that good, but I mean, he has an 80 shot three for center. His form is cheese, man. I, I, I managed to rack up seven blocks with him in the last game on the on the all-time Bucks. Like, this card is a monster. He's got actually pretty good speed for a center, 71 speed. Man, this card, you just have to try him out for yourself if you don't believe me. This card is insane, man. Thonmaker is always crazy. Uh, Terry Rozier is actually a pretty good moment silver point guard. He's got a good three ball. Um, he's got 88 shot close, 87 open shot mid-range, 86 open shot three, 85 contested shot three. And he's got like pretty good defense, I think, too. He's got 75. It's okay. Uh, what's his steal, though? Because I actually do manage. He's got 77 steal. He does actually get a few steals. Um, he doesn't have any badges, but solid point guard uh, Terry Rozier is. I'm on Shumpert, man. This card's pretty beastly. He can dunk. He can shoot threes. He's got an 85 shot three. Um, he's actually, man, he's got a 75 defense, defensive rebound. I didn't even know that. Um, man, he's even got 80 on-ball defense. What is his driving dunk? 77 driving dunk, but he can he can throw it down. Trust me, I've, I've used him quite a bit, and he can throw it down. Uh, let's see what else I can find here for silver. Is that a cheesy? Uh, Kyle Kuzma uh, moments is super cheese. He's, like, amazing. Uh, there's him. I'm not sure if there's anybody else really that I picked up. Oh my god, Bryn Forbes, man. This card is just a three-point beast. If you need, like, an amazing three-point uh, silver shooting card, man, this dude has 90 open shot three, 87 contested shot three, and his form is pretty damn good. He's got 90 open shot mid-range as well, and 80 shot close is okay. And he actually has decent layup stats, 82 and 82 for standing and driving. Uh, pretty good card there. Um, another good card actually to use. This isn't uh, this isn't a moments, but Seth Curry is just uh, it's an awesome card. Like it's he's <laughs> bros with Steph, so you know he can shoot. Uh, Frank Kaminsky is also a cheese center if you can't pick up Thon Maker, uh, or if you don't want to use Thon Maker. Frank can also shoot threes. He's not bad. Uh, so there's him and. Jamal Crawford would probably be pretty cheese. I haven't used him, but his shot form is money, so uh, you could try him out. And honestly, I don't see any other silvers. I mostly just use these guys. Um, some gold moments that I use, Nick Young. Like, this card is a beast. 90 open shot, 3. He can throw down dunks. Man, he can. He actually gets pretty deep uh, rebounds. He actually gets rebounds because he has like a 97 vertical which is crazy so he's also good for blocks I don't know what his blocking stat is it's only 42 but he's got a 97 vert so he can definitely block shots uh, Lonzo Ball man this gold card is just amazing man like his layups are his, his like driving layup is, is insane like it's so crazy he can shoot threes he's got really good passing vision passing IQ all that kind of crap and you need a good point guard for these challenges otherwise you will just get torn apart he has good speed 87 speed with ball as well um, and he can throw it down sometimes, but Lonzo Ball is a crazy good gold card. And I think I have a couple more gold moments. Uh, Alex Len, if you need a rebounder, he has like 95 uh, defensive and offensive boarding, and like 95 box out, so use him if you need a good rebounder. Uh, Chris Dunn, I actually didn't actually purchase. I think I pulled him in a pack. I haven't really used him. He's not that good. Uh, Redick is good. Yogi Farrell, another good point guard, but I prefer Lonzo. He can, this guy's better at threes. Uh, I think he has an 87 shot three, but he's also pretty solid. Laurie Markinen, man, this is a good power forward. If you need a <clears throat> power forward who you can shoot, but I, honestly, I'd prefer TJ Leaf. Um, just because, I mean, honestly, there's not a huge difference between, between the cards. I think Markinen's three is a little bit better, but I would 
easily prefer TJ Leaf just because it won't waste a gold card for that spot. Um, I think that's all I have for moments golds. But you guys, if you want to worry, you're honestly the best gold moments for this for these schedules are probably Young, but Lonzo, and uh, the third one you can kind of just mix up. Like I, I use Alex Lens sometimes. Like sometimes I mix it up with some moments. But you guys can look for obviously your own moments cards and see what. Uh, <clears throat> your best with but um those are those are basically the cards that i use guys um and honestly you could just use this team like you could just make you honestly you could make a team of just golds and silvers and play through these schedules and beat them no problem just like don't use your like rubies sapphires man most i would use is emeralds for like the starter challenges until like they only allow you to use three gold players but yeah guys that's pretty much it i could probably go through a game if you guys want to off to beat or have to uh, get through these Lakers challenges though like I'm only on uh, the number five challenge so once I get farther once I get to like once it starts getting tough I'll probably do a video as to how I play how I beat these because some of them are pretty difficult but that's pretty much it guys that's honestly the most efficient way just keep looking out for those moments cards like for instance uh, today there's also a uh, Wayne Selden Jr. that came out there's only two of them up on the auction. He's going for like 5,000, 12,000. But look at this dude's three-point shot. He has a... What is his three-point? Okay, he only has an 87. I actually thought it was better than that. But this card has crazy good shooting stats. And just like do the schedules first that have moments cards. Like do the teams that actually have moments cards. Like for example, like I don't know what it... Like Detroit Pistons, for example. They don't have a lot of moments so you could do other schedules while you're waiting for more moments cards to come out for these certain teams you could wait for like the silver moments or the gold moments because you will need to use gold moments uh or gold historic players or current players once you get into the higher like higher games so you can use more cheesy silvers like for example when i did the bucks challenge i think i had lonzo i was using i picked up a uh, lister and i had um, I had Luke Mamute here, and then I had like, I think I had, um, not Bryn Forbes, but like you have to use like eight Bucks players, man. It's, it's crazy. So I had like a whole bunch of Bucks players. Like I had, I had like, man, Rashad Vaughn is actually a really good bronze, uh, Bucks player. Like really good. Like he can, he actually has a pretty good shot form. Um, I had Malcolm Brogdon. Who else did I have? I had... I had Tony Snell, man. I had like, and then I had all these guys like starting. Like I had, uh, I'm on Shumpert, and I had Terrence Ferguson starting over here. This is like the the starting lineup I was rocking for that, for the final challenge. Or no, actually, I didn't even start Lister. I th I'm pretty sure I started uh, Thon over Lister. I just used Lister because like he's a gold, uh, he's a gold buck center, and I needed to get a guy who could actually like rebound decently. And I mean, he's okay, but. I don't even think I started Luke Ma either. I'm pretty sure I started TJ Leaf. So this is the lineup I actually used. I had these two golds off the bench just to kind of help me. I didn't have Nick Young, obviously. Um, I had just like a bunch of like crappy Bucks players. Like, uh, I don't know. I had like Hawes and I don't even think I started Hawes or he even played though just because I had Maker and Lister, but I just put him on there. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, I don't think, I think that's pretty much it honestly I think I don't even know if I I think I had tell tell I don't know this is kind of what I had I think this is more than let's see that's one two three four five six seven yeah that's eight right there so yeah this is the lineup I was working with I had Rozier I'm pretty sure uh off the bench and then I had Vaughn Tony Snell Luke Ma and Alton Lister as my bench and I mean, it's a little bit of a grind, but I usually play two quarters with my starters. And in the third quarter, I, I put in my bench. And then the fourth quarter, I bring back in my starters. And usually, that's what works for me, guys. But I'll definitely come up with some gameplay once uh, I get starting to get to the higher, into the higher games, harder games. So I can show you guys how to beat those. But this is pretty much the most efficient way to do this, guys. And you just got to keep waiting for more moments cards, like I said, to do the other ones. Just do the schedule challenges. Um, with the teams that have the moments cards right now get those out of the way because it'll be the easiest for you But anyways, thanks for watching guys make sure you like subscribe for more NBA 2k Tutorials and videos man. Just subscribe leave a like. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace